this game right here was a very important. It's always the toughest one. This one to get to the to the final dance is the toughest one. I don't care who you play, and that's a really tough team we beat over there. And their, their pitcher just pitched outstandingly. Tyler drove that ball to uh, to left field for a double that I thought would get another one, but couldn't cash that one in. But uh, he's he's a complete player. He's a real deal. He'll be playing some professional baseball. He, he's strong. He, he's six three and two ten, and, and I think his best innings are fifth and sixth when he really when he really gets loose. His first inning is his roughest one, and then uh, they're a free swinging team, so they made they swung at some pitches perhaps that they shouldn't have and helped him out with his pitch count because I think he threw about ninety pitches for the game, which which is good for Tyler because uh, when you get a lot of strikeouts, your, your your pitch count goes up. I feel so so bad for the for the kid over here because as I understand it, when my, our guy first uh, shook hands with him, he didn't realize he thought there were two outs. And uh, so that's a hard way to end a ball game right there. We played good defense, though. I mean, they, 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 they rolled the dice. We thought they were going to bunt when the guy, the lefty, turned and hit the ground ball at uh, Kevin. If we're normally back on that play, he does his job and move him over. But we were expecting the bunt, so he, he hit the ball right into our strength of our defense right there. And Kevin has a good, very accurate arm. Nice throw to Ty, uh, Kyle Matzik at third, and we got the guy, the big guy we needed to get. It wasn't my best day. Didn't have all my pitches. Uh, so I relied on more of my fastball and just locating it. I was a little wild with that. It just wasn't my day, but, um, you know, I battled and, and um, did as good as I could do. Tyler Matzek does it again. He pitches another complete game shutout, padding his postseason stat total to 17 innings pitched, giving up zero runs. Riverside Poly had their best chance to score in the seventh when they had a runner on second and no outs, but bad base running eventually did them in. Tyler Matzik now owns a Capo Valley school record with 12 wins, and he will lead his Cougars to their first CIF championship title game in eight years. Reporting from Blairfield and Long Beach, I'm Jonathan Camus for OCVarsity.com. Ready? One, two, three. Red! Great job. Okay. Here you go. Let's go. Let's go.